Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest V. In the last episode, we unstoned my wife. And now we're going to continue and go to the demon world. Yeah, I said in the last video at the end that I was going to wander around and do party talk. I, I'll, I'm just still wait to do that. I will do that. It's just I'm going to wait to do that. Anyway, now that we have the ultimate key, we can go in here and unlock some shit. Inviting. I wouldn't say it's inviting. I, apparently it's inviting. Oh, my holy protection wore off. Which means it's not going to be inviting anymore. Probably should keep that on, but whatever. Lizard men. Surprised and bewildered. But yeah, it's time for me to start showing off. Yeah, because Sizzle isn't as good as Kakrackle in the essence that it only hits um, a group. Uh, Kakrackle actually hits all enemies on the screen, but whatever, man. still works. Really, game? Really? Really, game? Show off the frizzle. Yeah, big fuck you fireball. Pretty good single target attack. I don't know why it does just shy of 200. But yeah, Frizzle always does like, you know, run about 180 damage to the same target. Why they couldn't make it just 200 damage, I'm not really sure. But that's just the way they programmed it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we shall go. Yeah, we're looking statues, huh? Anyway. Yeah, up here there's going to be some statues. Now what we want to do is we want to use the rings that we have. We have the fire ring, the water ring, and the life ring. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I don't think it matters which ring you put on these statues here. We can get these rings back, so don't worry about that. that, huh? No, she's not gonna hate us. Why would Grandma hate us for coming to save her? She'd be disappointed. She wouldn't hate us. Don't, yeah, don't zoom. Yeah, man, we got the legendary hero here, man. The brother's gonna lead us through. With my help, of course. With my guidance. Anyway. Sancho, buddy. Any treasure? mysterious voice can be heard coming from somewhere and it's Grandma Martha you actually came into this desolate realm just to save me if 
fact, you have grown up more than I ever imagined you would. I won't ask you to turn back now. From this moment on, I can only put my faith in your power. As your mother, I'll do whatever I can to help you. Please take this gift. Good luck, Fett. Oh, what is it? What is it? What are we getting here? A sparkling stone dropped from above Vet's head. Found the Sage's Stone. All right. Thank you. This item is extremely useful. If you've played other Dragon Quest games, you know what this does. Restores HP to all allies during battle. Unlimited amount of times. Yeah, you can use it as much as you want. It's amazing. I don't know exactly how much HP it restores in this particular Dragon Quest game, but uh, in other games, like in Dragon Quest VII, it's like 50 to uh, 75 HP. Very, very good. Uh, I'm going to give it to Tabitha because... Um, I knew there was a reason why. Oh, because uh, Flora's got Kefrizzle. So against the boss, where I might actually have to do a lot of healing, uh, I'd rather... I'm probably going to be using Kefrizzle anyways. As opposed to uh, Tabitha's magic, which is more like for random encounters, really. I mean, she doesn't have any single targeting spells. So she's probably going to end up being the secondary healer that, you know, when Rex isn't healing. So... I think it's smartest to give, if, like, if you're going with the party that I have, I think it's smartest to give the uh, Sage of Stone to uh, the daughter, Tabitha. And if you're using Flora, or, or Bianca even, um, Kefrizzle, man. Kefrizzle all the way. Oh, you know what? I forgot to um, comment on getting the Sage of Stone. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, I didn't comment on that. I forgot to do party talk after getting the Sage of Stone. But yes, welcome to the Demon Realm. Yeah, lots of monsters around here. Luckily, we got a map. So yeah, what we want to do is we want to immediately go to the uh, the town over here that way we can add it to our zoom list okay we got great dragon and bazoos uh, yeah it's time for a little kazap let's go with kaboom double kabooms man <laughs> now it's all this evil looking haze. Zap. Kaboom and kaboom. Let's work on that machine there, huh? You are dead. There's a town here.
Huh, sliming. Uh, I don't know. It seems like a pretty good name for a sl for a slime. Actually, I don't know. I'm not gonna object to that name. Slurp. Anyway, let's explore. Gar, Martha, please come back to your home soon. What the hell? That's weird. But yeah, before I do anything else, actually, what I want to do... Yeah, we might as well just do this now before I forget, man, because I might forget. Yeah, we're gonna zoom back to El Haven. And what we want to do is we want to retrieve those rings. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, if you do that, won't the portal to the demon world close? Well, yes. Yes, it will. But, the good thing about the zoom spell is it doesn't care about portals. Those rings are very, very, very valuable uh, to equip. I mean, they help with, uh, like, I, I forgot, I think the fire ring is, um, like, ice and wind reduction, and. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. Nothing happened. Is that like a typo or something? Anyway, let's grab. Yes, let's take it off the statue. Yay. Yeah, fire, fire ring can only be equipped by the main character. And the water ring can only be equipped by the wife. So if you're thinking about giving those to Rex or Tabitha, then you can't. Unfortunately. Yeah, as you can see, pretty much nobody can equip it except for her. So yeah, it's a little extra spell reduction, which helps. I didn't know that uh, before when I played this game, so definitely... You want these rings back. And the life ring, you know, since um, Rex is the hero, uh, the whole life regen thing kind of fits his uh, role anyways. I mean, he is the character with uh, Kazing. And uh, if you play Dragon Quest Seven, you know about the hero class. Uh, in that game, the hero regenerates HP every round, which is similar to the life ring. So, yeah, it just makes sense. Just makes sense, man. But yeah, as you can see, we can't go any farther. Oh darn. Uh, it's not there anymore, kid. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and warp to Jahana. That's the name of the town we were just at. Or let's not. Let's just use uh, Evac to get out of here. Or let's not even do that either. Let's just fucking walk out of the cave and then cast Zoom. Because the game wants to be annoying. Can I use evac now? Come on, game. Freaking stupid. Oh well.
Hear me, Master Dragon, the great Demon Lord's power grows stronger by the day. It won't be long before the great Demon Lord forces his way to the surface. Hunger gug gug. Now, why is a heaven folk guy here? Welcome to Jahana. This is the only town in the demon world. Yeah, I mean, this place shouldn't have a town in it when you think about it. But whatever, we're not going to complain. Okay, an angel's leotard. Uh. I don't remember if I want this or not. Eh, you know what? I'll pick it up anyways. I might want to switch it out for the water flying cloth. Sometimes. You know? I guess I'll equip it right now. But that doesn't mean I'm going to like keep it forever, mind you. But yeah, um, the daughter can equip it. But she's got the princess robe, which is better. At least with breath attacks. Um, against spells, not so much. Uh, mirror armor, sometimes reflect spells, eh, don't really care about that. Power shield, free mid heal. Mirror shield, less damage from fire and fire spells? Oh, yeah, breath attacks. Oh, wait a minute, Tabitha can equip this. And Omni can equip this too. That's interesting, because I didn't think that Tabitha could actually uh, equip a better shield. But why can't my wife equip it too? Man, that kind of stinks. Yeah, my wife can't equip that. But no, that's gonna be good, man. I'll get that for, uh, for Tabitha. Hell yeah, that's better than a scale shield. Without question, she's getting it. Alright, a great helm. Eh. I'm not gonna bother. It is better though. But just better defense. You know, I might as well get this fucking shield for my, uh. for my restore slime. Even though it's already. Yeah, that magic shield that I said I didn't have in the last video, uh. yeah, it was in my inventory. Apparently I didn't sell it. Oh well. This one's probably better, anyways. I think. I'm not really sure though. Flame and yeah, a lot of enemies use fire, so whatever, man. I think the uh, magic shield just does like 15 points of like fire, ice, and wind spells. At least this gives you a little breath protection, too, probably. I don't know the exact numbers, though. Okay, Mr. Monster's here. That's nice. that surrounds this town is holy water brought from the surface by Martha herself Martha is a town savior oh yeah man my mom is pretty legendary huh yeah your grandma is awesome Great demon lord lives to the north of this town, inside Mount Eva. He is a being with no equal, the great demon lord. Great one would never bow to this fabled legendary hero. Sure, I may have become a human, but I still serve only the great demon lord, Mildrath. Maybe we should kill you.
Yeah, that's not gonna stop you. I'll be around to help, of course. Being the awesome dad that I am. Alright. Dragon Slayer. Okay, you can buy a Demon Spear here. Although, I don't... Hmm. Interesting. Sancho can't equip it. My Pigby can't equip it. Who the hell can use this weapon? Oh, well, I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I imagine this weapon is similar to the Poison Needle in that regard that, yeah, if it... If you're lucky enough, you can instant kill the target. Uh, big bow gun. No thanks. Staff of Revival can be used as an item. Uh, I want to say that when you use this as an item in battle, it casts the Zing spell. So that's kind of nice. Um, don't really think I need it. And then we have the Flame Tang or Flaming Boomerang here, which is crap attack power, but it hits all enemies on the screen. At this point, I wouldn't even bother with boomerangs. And yeah, the Blizzard Blade is good against those weak against ice, I guess, if you care about that. I don't. So there you go. So yeah, monsters can become humans if they tame their hearts, or something. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I tame them. Sounds like she's got even more powerful, you know, tricks than I do. Okay, here we got uh okay wind hit hit you can buy here an elfin amulet. Okay, uh let me get a few more of these actually. In fact, let me get three more. Why the hell not? I mean, they're supposed to help with instant death. So yeah, that'll work. Hopefully, I can equip it with the fire ring. Yes, perfect. And let's see, Rex is gonna get one. Can he equip one with the meteorite bracer? I wonder. Yes, he can. See, th this is weird, man. You usually can't equip multiple accessories in Dragon Quest games, but in this game, you can. So, hell yeah, I'm gonna equip it. <laughs> Everybody, I can, man. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Elfin. I'm an idiot. You can't equip an elfin elixir. Obviously. We got Floro will get one. That should help against instant death attacks. Again, you, you want to mitigate that crap if you can. Uh Yeah, Flora I got I got the blessing wand on Flora just because uh well in case I don't want her to use MP, that might be nice to have, you know. Because she does have mid heal, but I might not want to use uh, mid heal. Yeah, I don't need this fucking scale shield anymore. Let's get that in the bag. Alright, man, good to go. Some good stuff in this town. Yeah, more good stuff in this town. A small metal. Very nice. <clears throat> it's down here. A bar. Yeah, we'll get there in time, I mean. 
We gotta make sure we're prepared, you know? That doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would they turn back into monsters? That creature by the water wheel. <clears throat> yeah, why well, even have a bar then? Alright, another ticket. Yeah, there is a Pachisi board in this area of the world that you can win the Celebrity Pass, which is very, very nice. Alright, Sancho, what do you got in this area? Three treasures. That's one of them. Seated the fence. Elfin elixir, all right. Yes. All right, who's getting this one? Just Rex, seeing as he's my most important character, almost. Well, pretty damn close. He's arguably more important than the main character. <laughs> when you think about it. Oh man, what the hell is this gear for anyways? What the hell is this crap? Ooh. Hello. Hello, monster guy. You guys regret anything in your lives? No. Good for you. Go and enjoy your life. Okay. Well, you can try to live without regrets, but ultimately you're going to have stuff happen in your life that you regret. I mean, there's no way to avoid it. You can try to avoid it if you want. This guy, hello. Yeah, we found you again. How about that, huh? We're gonna double kaboom you to oblivion, Mini Kandar. That's right, actually, no, we're gonna go with for, for Frizzle. Maybe not double kaboom. Yeah. Big fucking fireball on your head. That is your damage. That that's that's what you did to us. How about how about cajolt? Yeah, A big fuck you, lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah, that only did like two hundred and sixty some damage, so it wasn't very powerful. But it was fun. Yeah. Who did he steal from? And we get a Staff of Soros. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, how did the Staff of Soros get all the way here? What, when it disappeared before, did it get transferred to the demon world? That's weird, huh? Anyway, we now have the Staff of Storos. It can be used as an item in battle. I think it cures like paralysis and petrification. Although I'm not really sh I've never seen... To be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember ever being petrified in a Dragon Quest game. But yeah, you can equip it if you want. I guess I'll give it to Tabitha because, you know, for whatever. For right now, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I think it... Again, I think it cures, like, paralysis. 
I might have to double check that though. Said something about curing paralysis and petrification. Two status ailments. That, my friends, looks to be everything in the town. If I miss anything, I'll show it off later. Getting pretty close to the end of this game, huh? Not nearly as long as Dragon Quest 7. I mean, I can't believe I'm already, like, at the end. I mean, holy crap. Play all these long-ass RPGs. These other ones seem, like, tame in comparison as far as the length. Although Dragon Quest 7, I mean, that game did not seem long to me. Not really. Again, I think it's just because I like the game a lot. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go... There's a bridge to our north on the map. I think we want to go that way. So let's go. Guys are pretty tough. Yeah, one thing that I definitely like with uh, swords over whips in Dragon Quest games is at least swords have a chance to critical hit. I'm pretty sure that's impossible with whip weapons. I've never seen it happen. This place is a shithole. Big giant shithole. Okay, Gigantes. Frizzle and Crackle, I guess. Double, double freaking kaboom. I love it. I love it. That's what I was missing with Bianca, man. Okay. Kaboom might not be as... Well, actually, you know what? I think we'll be alright here. Assuming Kazap actually works. I don't remember. Well, does it work? Yeah, we'll find out. I, I forgot already. No, it does not. Lightning should work on machines, man. Come on, man. It really should. Anyway, 
Yeah, these guys are pretty strong. Strike a swoosh. And... Might as well try that. Frizzle works, which means fire works, which means uh, you only have sizzle, never mind. here? I don't know. It looks kind of warm to me. This place was once the grand prison of the underworld. And towering to the north is Mount Eva. You should avoid that peak no matter who you are. Yeah, what kind of creatures are held here, eh? Who knows? Four treasures. Wow, that's a lot of treasures, huh? There's no place we can really safe anywhere in the de Okay, that's a punctuate. That's like a grammar error, I think. That's okay. This is a fan translation. Whoa! Hello. That's fun. I didn't want to come over this way, but thanks you thank you for that, I guess. What's this? There was a book titled A Treat A Treatise A Treatise? Whatever. A Treatise on Meditation. There is no man or beast in this world that can ever revel in my defeats. Deep down in the depths of the earth my body rests in eternal meditation. Okay, whatever, dude. Oh, little rogue knights. I heard that a rare treasure called a cursed whistle is hidden away on Mount Evil. It's my thinking that it's probably the most famous collectible in those demonic caverns. Yeah, apparently there's collectibles here, too. So they got towns, they got collectibles. I mean, shit, this realm isn't that much different than, than our realm, really, when you think about it. It's just, it's just like, you know, it's got like a... It's got like a haunted house theme. It's really the only difference. Hello, putrid Stinkenheimer. I mean, whoever you are. Apparently, Mildreth used to be human, but he's definitely inhuman now. Uh, 
Alright, tickets. The cheesy tickets. Need that stuff. What do these graves say? There's a heart filled message to the deceased edged on the grave. Thought it was actually gonna be red, but I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, man, it's the same as our world, but again, it's like, you know. It's just, uh. Haunted Castle themed, more or less. What? Oh, you know what? I think those are the Pachisi prizes. I was to make an educated guess. Now, the three we can't get. Unless we play some Pachisi. And we totally want to do that with this board because we can get a celebrity pass. This will allow us to go to all the previous boards and do them and attempt them as many times as we want. Which is great because I don't want to have to sit there and fucking scum save states over and over again like I did originally. No, I'm not going to play. I'm going to want to save first, I think. Yeah, the way I did it the last time, right, is you can, like, you know, if you get a favorable roll, roll do a save state, and then if you don't get a favorable roll, uh, load state, that way you can try again. But, yeah, I don't want to do that this time. I want to try and get this legit without cheating as much as possible. You know, because if you lose, then it's no big deal. Because if you have the celebrity pass, it's no big deal. It's just, it's annoying, obviously, when you lose, but, I mean, you get unlimited number of tries, so it, it doesn't matter really as much, so. I think, yeah, the next... Wait, what's up here? Oh, more. More of it. Yeah, it's looking pretty crazy here, huh? Deep underneath this world, there lies a mighty beast, even greater than Lord Mildrath. But he should be meditating in solitude now. For the good of us all, the entrance to his lair, deep underground, has been tightly shut. So yeah, there. That's he's talking about the bonus boss and the bonus dungeon. Can't uh, go there unless uh, you beat the game first. Exciting. Anyways, uh, I'm going to end this episode of Dragon Quest V, and in the next video, we're going to do this wonderful Pachisi board. I'm going to be showing off Pachisi for the first time. Yeah, it shouldn't be the first time, but you know what? How many tickets do I have? I have 32 tries to get the Celebrity Pass. Hopefully, I can do it. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take me too much time. Hopefully I don't run out of tickets. I should be good, though. See you next time. Bye-bye.